KDE is one of my favorite desktop environments. In fact, I would say that it's my favorite desktop environment. Everyone who watches the channel knows that I love to customize things. And one of the best parts about KDE Plasma is that you can customize literally everything. Some would argue that KDE has too much customization, but I've never been one of those people. I love that freedom that KDE gives you. And I don't see anything wrong with the developers continually adding new features. I think it's great. I think one of the things that GNOME suffers from is that a lot of times they pull out features to enhance performance or something like that. But with KD, you never have that problem. All of that being said, and my continuing respect to the developers of KDE, I have to say that KDE over the last six months or so has been really freaking buggy for me. Now, this may be one of those situations where it's just me. I, it's 100% possible that KDE just does not like my computer for some reason. I've had that problem before with Mate. Like, Mate will not install on this computer for whatever reason. And it doesn't matter if it's Ubuntu Mate or Mate on Arch. I just cannot get it to install and run properly. I don't know why. Probably personal issues. Like, it's probably something I'm doing wrong. I don't know. Uh, but with KDE, I get it installed and I can use it, but I experience a ton of bugs on this computer, and I don't know why. And it's cr across distributions, so I've had problems with Kinoite, I've had problems with Arch, Arco, I had problems with Kubuntu. And if it was all the same problems, I would be more likely to blame the computer, because then, you know, obviously there's something with the computer causing that same problem. But every single distro I've tried KD Plasma on... Over the last six months, I've had different problems. So with my Arco install, for example, whenever the computer would go to sleep, or not the computer would go to sleep, the monitors would go to sleep, when I woke them back up, KWIN would have somehow have switched the monitors around. So instead of this one here being the primary one, it would change to this one here, which means that the panel would switch from here to there, and the windows would be all over the place. It was not a great experience. And I... Despite searching for the solution to that, I couldn't fix it. Apparently, there was a bug report back in 2015 about the same issue, and it just, you know, hasn't been fixed yet. And, but it's weird because, like I said, I've never had that experience before prior to that. On this install of Arch that I'm using right now, the issue seems to be that I cannot set an icon theme at all. Like, I set the icon theme, the icons show up, in certain places, but not in other places. And when even, like, that's a problem that's been going on in Plasma for a long time. Sometimes you have to log out and log back in for your, your icon theme to kind of propagate to every application. Even if I do that, there's still some applications that just don't have the icon theme activated, and I don't know why. So in one of my most recent videos, I think it was the top five apps of the month list, I had Dolphin up on the screen for a certain amount of time. And you could see that the there were no icons in Dolphin, like at all. And that's despite having actually selected an icon theme, Breeze. I'm pretty sure I chose the Breeze theme and activated it just like you would normal in the system settings. They didn't show up. What's really weird is that across multiple installs of KD Plasma, I've had the settings app crash all the time. And usually it's when applying something. So you apply a setting and you hit apply, which is something you have to do, and it crashes. The, the system settings application crashes. And that's across different distributions. But the weird thing with this Arch install one, or this install of Arch that I'm using right now, is that when I hit apply to apply that icon theme, sometimes k crashes completely, and it stops recognizing that there are even two monitors installed or, you know, plugged in, and this monitor turns off, this monitor's on, and it does reboot k or K-Win, so you can right-click on the desktop and get up a menu and at least log out, but it doesn't seem to have a way for me to get that monitor back on because it no longer recognizes that this monitor is plugged in. It's really weird. Now, if I was having that problem in other desktop environments or window managers or something like that, then I would say, well, you know, this is a hardware problem. But, again, it only happens on this install of Arch. 
the problems I've been having in Kino White ha are completely different. I've been having problems there with the settings application crashing, just like I have been all of them. But also I've been having problems with the themes not applying. So when I ch install a theme, if I can get it installed at all, it just won't apply at all. and Or it will apply portions of it and not other portions of it. I have had better luck with Cavantum setting themes. So just if I set Cavantum in the KDE Plasma settings and just use Cavantum to choose a theme, that seems to work fine. But the global themes in the KDE Plasma app just don't work. Also in, in the Kino A1, I've been having problems with Discover crashing. So it's an absolute mess. Now the thing is, I say this all this stuff out of love because I think KD is fantastic and I'm friendly with a few of their developers. You know, I've talked to them before at least and they're all great people and they do amazing work. So I don't want to have this come across as, K, you know, KDE bashing. I would still use KDE despite its bugginess over GNOME uh, 10 times out of 10. It's not even a, a, a close competition for me. KDE is the best desktop environment for me no matter what. That being said, I do feel, despite their hard work at smashing some of these bugs, they do have a tendency for their desktop environment to be a lot more buggy than GNOME or XFCE or Mate or Budgie. And that's simply because they have so many more features, right? The more features you have, the harder it is to catch bugs, but also the more bugs you're going to have. So really, I'm just making this video as a kind of a way to get some of this off my chest because I really like KDE Plasma. I really do. And despite not being able to use it, you know, as my daily driver because I'm a window manager guy, I still like having an install of it because a lot of the applications that I use are cute applications like Crusader and OBS and stuff like that. I use a ton of KDE apps. So I usually have Plasma installed anyway. I just figure if I install the desktop environment, I you know, I have most of the dependencies already. So I like using or having an install Plasma around, but I can't use it. Like this install Plasma is completely useless to me. I've been trying to figure out if I just want to uninstall it because it's just taking up space at this moment because I can't stand an incomplete desktop environment. Like the icons not showing up really bothers me. When the settings application crashes, you know, it bothers me. And I do submit the bug reports through their little bug report you know, thing when it pops up every once in a while at least. But I want it to be at least somewhat stable. Now, I have thought about using an older version of Plasma. That's a possibility for me. Like, I, I have a feeling that if I were using distributions that were less bleeding edge and more stable, like if I was using the LTS version of Plasma, I probably wouldn't be having as many problems. I think some of the problems that I'm having are because I'm on, always on the bleeding edge. I ha I'm using Arch and that causes me to always have the most recent version and that's going to lead to more bugs it's just it, kind of the way it works so maybe if i tried it on mx linux or something like that it would be a better experience and that's probably something that i will i will try in the future because i do like using debian based distros from time to time anyways kind of a rambly video uh, not really much of a point to this other than me saying that kd is kind of a buggy mess for me and i wonder if it's a buggy mess for anybody else and I would love to hear from you in the comments if you are having similar problems with some KDE uh, issues. Uh, you can leave those in the comment section below. I would really like to hear from you. If you want to follow me on Twitter, you can do so at the LinuxCast. If you want to follow me on Mastodon or any of my other social media networks, you can find those links in the video description right below that like button. Make sure you hit the like button because I'm a YouTuber. I'm supposed to tell you to smash the like button, whatever that's supposed to mean. Don't actually smash the like button because it's not a physical thing if you bash the crap out of your monitors i can't be held responsible uh, but i would appreciate it if you take the mouse and gently click the like button uh, I, i've spent too much time on this get gig uh, so i'm moving on uh, you can also support me on patreon at patreon.com slash the linux cast like all these fine people i truly do appreciate everybody who supports me on patreon and the youtube membership thing that you can also find below the video there with the blue join button Honestly, if you're going to support me, I prefer Patreon because YouTube takes just a ton of percentage, like 40% of the revenue there, which is kind of nuts. But either way, I really, truly do appreciate everybody who supports me. Thank you so much. Thanks, everybody, for watching. I'll see you next time.